Hi, my name is Maha and I'm a Customer Solutions Specialist at Housing Anywhere. Today I'm going to be showing you how to access and use our calendar. So let's have a look. So right now we're on the Housing Anywhere homepage, which you can see right here. Make sure that you're in the correct language, which is of course English at the moment. Click on your profile and go into the listings option. So you can see that here, we're now on the listings page. You can click on these three vertical points and you'll see that the first option is calendar. Click on calendar and you will be taken to a new tab where you can see where your property is available. So right now you can see the white blocks which indicate where the property is available and the gray blocks where it is not available. So from August to October. If I want to change this and for example block the property from the 1st of December to the 31st of January, I simply have to go to the start date, put in the 1st of December, end date 31st of December, and mark as blocked. You can see that this is now gray, which means that no one will be able to request your listing for this time. You can also mark this as available by clicking on start date, so 1st December again, to the 31st, and mark as available. So this process is quite simple and rather straightforward. You can also set a minimum rental period. So you can see here that I have it set to six months. What I'm gonna do is change it to one month, for example, like this, and simply click save. Now tenants will be able to contact you for a period that's longer than a month. You can also sync your calendar uh, through Housing Anywhere by clicking on import your calendar file here. You just need a file that's in .ics format so I'm going to use my Google Calendar, which I have saved already, put the link in here, and confirm sync. So you can see you get a notification uh, saying that it's been synced. Just click all right, thank you. And if you would like to delete this later, you can just go back to edit current calendar file and remove calendar file, and you can see that the file has now been removed. So the process is quite straightforward, um, and this is how the calendar page looks for your listing. So as you can see, using our calendar is pretty straightforward and easy. If, however, you do have any questions, you can check out our how-to guides there in the description below. You can also leave a comment. We will make sure to respond to that. And you can contact our support team. Once again, my name is Maha, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.